Welcome to your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Luciano Vera. It can be hard to experience a new culture without developing friendships. Specialist Keith Burkhardt followed two women from two sides of the world on a very different mission. President. President? President? Okay. The mission? Find famous Seoul landmarks, document with photos, gather data about the area with a partner, and beat the competition to headquarters. In this case, Young Sun's USO. Eight teams accepted the challenge of Corridor's Friendship Festival's Mission Impossible photo project, but only one team will win. It's kind of a race and uh, competition with other people and partnered with a, a native Seoulite or a native Korean and uh, just, you know, to meet new people and form new friendships and really enjoy and have a good time and, and to get to learn a little bit about each other. Julie Koo and Angela McLaughlin of Team Daybok met for the first time during the competition. But as they navigated and raced through Seoul, they truly became a team. I think the partnership with a Korean um, contestant or whatever you want to call us uh, was an absolutely great idea because I really got to know some things about her. She got to know things about me and it was a lot of fun. Bridging cultural barriers and really getting to know someone from another culture was the main objective of the contest and Team Daybok took the challenge head on with both members learning something new. I'm actually surprised that uh, Angie knows better than me about my country's history. Specialist Keith Burkhart, Young Sun, Korea. All right, uh, they were supposed to go to the President Residential Hall. So actually this was the first Corridor Friendship Festival Mission Impossible photo project. The contestants had to find their assigned sites using only public transportation. That was your two-minute report. I'm Army Sergeant Luciano Vera.